So good morning to all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, chemistry of carbohydrate. So the, before going to the chemistry of carbohydrate, you should know about class. You should know about the end of the classes. First one is the classifier different type of carbohydrate and explain the stereoisomerism and properties and reaction of amino acids. So sorry, uh, properties and reaction of mono, monosaccharide and list of the amino sugars and property and function of the disaccharide and structure of the starch glycogen and to explain the heteropolysaccharide. So the first one is you should know about the classify the different type of the carbohydrate. You should know about the stereoisomerism and type, stereoisomerism and types. And the third one is the property and structure of the monosaccharide and the list of the, what are the amino, amino sugars are presented. And fifth one is the properties and the function of the disaccharide and structure of the storage and glycogen. And to explain about what is the heteropolysaccharide and example with example okay so in first we started about what is the polysaccharide <coughs> what is the carbohydrate <coughs> so the carbohydrate the carbon is nothing but polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones or compounds which is give them an hydrolysis polyhydroxy what is the carbohydrate what is it should be the nothing but the polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones or compounds which give them give them with the hydrolysis of carbohydrate so polyhydroxy means it is more than two type of polyhydroxy aldehyde groups and the ketone groups is more than two ketone groups so what is the polyhydroxy and Aldehyde or ketones are more compounds which give them the wind hydrolysis of carbohydrate compounds. So, <clears throat> can move to the next one? So, you should know, should know about what is a carbohydrate. The carbohydrate is nothing but the polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketone groups. When is hydrolysis for carbohydrate substance? Uh, next one is what is the carbohydrate chemistry? More of the next one is why the carbos you need it for your health. First one is the source of energy, the storage form of energy and serve as a structural component, non-digestible carbose. It is serve as a dietary fibers and the constituent of nucleotide and the role of uh, the involved in the detoxification reactions. So first, what are the function of the carbohydrate? The source of energy needed for that storage from energy and serve as a structural component. It attacks here. Detoxification process and non digestible carbohydrates serve as a dietary fiber from non dietary sources. Yeah, um, yes, third one is what is the classification of carbohydrate? You should know about what is the carbohydrate and move on to that. What is the classification of the carbohydrate? So, first one is monosaccharide, second one is disaccharide. Third one is oligosaccharide and fourth one is polysaccharide. I can I tell you what is that carbohydrate is classified into the uh, four types. One is monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. So what is the example? So to see one by one, just you see the first what is the example for monosaccharide. One is aldose. The two group, one is aldose group, and one is ketose group. The aldose group is present for the glucose, and the ketose group is present for the fructose. The disaccharide, what is the disaccharide? The two way, this is a reducing and non reducing substance. So, what is the reducing sugar example for lactose and maltose, and non reducing sugar is the example for sucrose? Move on to the next one is oligosaccharide. What is the example for the oligosaccharide? Uh, man to triose. Again, I tell you what is the example of the same man to triose. Next, to move on to the polysaccharide. This is homo and nato, the two types. We have to divide into the two types. One is homo polysaccharide and one is nato polysaccharide. The homo has the example for homo polysaccharide, example for starch and cellulose, and heteropolysaccharide, example for heparin. 
So please do that. This is important. What is the class? What is the first? Is what is the carbohydrate? The carbohydrate it is nothing but polyhydroxy aldehyde or keto. When the hydrolysis of them, okay. And the carbohydrate classified into the four way. One is monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, and polysaccharide. So what is what is the example for the each one for the monosaccharide example for aldose and ketose the aldose is example for glucose and ketose is example for fructose and move to the next one is the disaccharide is example the reducing and non reducing it divided into the two type one is reducing and non reducing the reducing sugar is example for disaccharide lactose and maltose and non reducing example for sucrose and move to the next one is the oligosaccharide it is an example for oligosaccharide is mato triose and the polysaccharide one the two type one is hetero and homo the homo is an example hetero homo polysaccharide and hetero polysaccharide the homo polysaccharide is an example for starch and cellulose and hetero polysaccharide is an example for heparin Okay. This is all the classification and what is the classification of the carbohydrates? Can you move the next one? You can shall you move to the next one? Yes. Can you move to the next one? Is yes. no. You can see that what is mean the carbohydrate and monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide, and polysaccharide. Please note on this one. Uh, each one by what is the definition of the carbohydrate? You already see, but again I tell you what is the carbohydrate? What is the monosaccharide with the example? Disaccharide with the example, oligosaccharide with the example, polysaccharide with the example. So first you can see that what is the polysaccharide carbohydrate. The carbohydrate is already nothing but is already told. What is mean? The polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketone. Then what is the general formula for carbohydrate? CH2ON. What is the general formula for CH2ON? So next one is the carbohydrate is mean is polyhydroxy. Please note it in and you should know about what is the carbohydrate. Please note on that. What is means the carbohydrate? The polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy polyhydroxy ketone group when hydrolyzes to them. Okay. What is the general formula? Is carbohydrate or the general formula CH2ON. Okay. Next one is that what is it? What is mean by the monosaccharide? The monosaccharide it means that cannot be hydrolyzed or cannot be hydrolyzed. To the sim simpler carbohydrate. Okay, again, telling the monosaccharide is cannot be hydrolyzed. It is a simpler carbohydrate. Example for the monoxide is glucose and fructose. And the disaccharide, it can be hydrolyzed in divided into the two monosaccharide unit. I can tell you what is with the disaccharide is the carbohydrate that can be easily hydrolyzed right? when the hydrolyzes to form the two monosaccharides so divided into the two monosaccharides. One the example for the disaccharide is one is sucrose, another one is sucrose, which is hydrolyzes to form glucose and fructose. So what is mean of the monosaccharide? The monosaccharide it is nothing but the carbohydrate that cannot be hydrolyzed. Why? It is a simpler carbohydrate. The example for that simpler carbohydrate is monosaccharide is glucose and fructose. So the glucose and fructose cannot be hydrolyzed. The second one is disaccharide. The disaccharide it can be hydrolyzed into it can be hydrolyzed into the two monosaccharide unit. Example for that disaccharide is sucrose. Sucrose can be in it, which is hydrolyzed into the to form the two monosaccharide. One is glucose, another one is fructose. So it is clear. Yeah, move to the next one is oligosaccharide. <laughs> it is also that can be hydrolyzed into the Few monosaccharide unit. The example of three to ten. Again, I tell you, it can be hydrolyzed into to form the three to ten unit of the monosaccharide. Is compared to form the ten to three to ten unit oligosaccharide. Next one is um, polysaccharide. It's uh, that can all the polymeric sugars. It means what lines more than ten. Monosaccharide is present. An example for polysaccharide is starch or cellulose. So, what can I be? First one is monosaccharide, means it cannot be further hydrolyzed. Example for the monosaccharide is 
glucose and fructose. Why it cannot further is because it is a simpler carbohydrate, so it cannot be hydrolyzed. Second is a disaccharide. It can be hydrolyzed when the hydro, which is hydrolyzed to form the two monosaccharide only. Two monosaccharide. Example for the disaccharide is sucrose, which hydrolyzes into to form the glucose and fructose. The oligosaccharide. It can the oligosaccharide. It is nothing but that can be hydrolyzed, but to form the unit of monosaccharide, three to ten. Again, I tell you, three to ten monosaccharide it will to form that can be hydrolyzed by the oligosaccharide. And fourth one is the polysaccharide. It is that uh, it is called as the polymeric sugar. Polymeric sugar it means it is more than ten monosaccharide unit are is presented. Again, it is more than ten monosaccharide are presented. So the example for the polysaccharide is straw and cellulose. Can it uh, can anyone can tell them what is the oligosaccharide example? Yeah, maltose, triose, maltose. Trios is example for oligosaccharide. Then okay. the next one is so that uh, can see by one by one the monosaccharide. Monosaccharide is the simplest form of carbohydrate. Again, tell you that can cannot be hydrolyzed. Further, now uh, cannot be hydrolysis, cannot be further hydrolysis to the smaller unit. Why? It is because it is a smaller unit, cannot be cannot be hydrolyzed. The next one is the building block of higher carbohydrate. The higher carbohydrate uh, hydrate means the single format. With example, oligosaccharide, it will to form 3 to 10. 3 to 10 monosaccharide to form the oligosaccharide, more than 10. Monosaccharide to form the polysaccharide. So, this is the building block of higher carbohydrate. Okay, can move to the next one. So, next one is the type of the monosaccharides. You can see the type of the monosaccharide. One is triosis, tetrosis, pentosis, exosis, and heptosis. You already know, I think you already seen that. What is mean the triosis means how many carbons is present? And three carbon is present. Tri means three and tetro. It is one, uh, it means the four carbon atom is present and the pentose is five carbon atom and nexus is present for the six carbon atom and heptose means seven carbon atom is present. So the tri means three, tetro four and pentose it means five and nexus means six and hepto means seven. So the name can is already seen that the more carbohydrate is present for the two group only cellulose and ketose. Yeah. So now what are the groups are presented? What are the examples? So the triose is example for aldoses, aldoses group, aldo trioses, example for glycera aldehyde. So the glycera aldehyde is contain the three carbon atom. Again, I tell you that glycoaldehyde is containing three carbon atom and ketose. Example, triosis example for ketosis is dihydroxyacetone. Again, dihydroxyacetone. So the uh, next one of them, uh, tetrosis, this one is containing the four carbon atom. What is the example for the aldoses of four carbon atom is erythrose. The erythrose where it is can see that this is the exemption pathway. The erythrose is one of the important product in the exemption pathway. Can see the latter. They will see that exemption pathway in the chat lecture. Can detail about for erythrose. Now can you remember that what is the example for triosis? The triosis is the example for aldosis group. It is erythrose. The next one is um, Sorry, a tetrosis example for aldosis, erythrosis, and ketosis. What is the example for ketosis for uh, tetrosis is erythrolysis. It is also involved in the exemption pathway. So the triosis example for aldosis group is glycera aldehyde, and triosis example for ketosis uh, example for ketosis group is dihydroxyacetone. The tetrosis example for aldosis is erythrosis, and the tetrosis example for ketosis group is erythrolysis. And the pentosis, you not know, it is the five carbon atom. The pentosis example for aldosis is ribose and xylose. Again, tell you that the pentosis example for aldosis is ribose and xylose. And ketosis example for pentosis is ribosis and xylose. 
the ex, uh, next more the exosomes group it is in the sixth carbon atom it is presented for allosomes group example for glucose so again tell the glucose is contain six carbon atom in the allose group or glucose and what about the ketosis group example for exosomes it is uh, fructose the fructose also six carbon atom what is the difference between the two the glucose is kind of six carbon atom but it is under for the allosomes group and ketosis group is example for the exosomes but is under for the ketosis group okay next we have ketosis the seven the seven carbon contains it has contains the seven carbon atom the the uh, hepatosis example for allosomes is preserved before hepatosis and uh, hepatosis example ketosis group is pseudo hepatolysis i can tell you what is hepatosis example for uh, allosomes group is pseudo hepatosis and hepatosis example ketosis group is pseudo hepatolysis so should be not uh, not it down what is the example types of the monosaccharide tri tetra penta exo and hepto the tri means with three carbon atom and the tetra means the four carbon and pentose is five and exo six and hepto is seven what is the example given example for aldos and ketos group the triose example for aldos group is clindra aldehyde and ketose is example for triose is dihydroxy acetone and it I mean, next one is the tetrose example for aldos is erythrosis and tetrose is example for ketose is erythrolysis And next one to the five carbon atom. It means the pentose is example for allose is ribose and the xylose and example for ketose is ribose and xylose. What is mean? Next one is six carbon atom is contained in exose. Example for allose is glucose and exose is example for ketose is fructose. The hepatose is example for allose group is glucose hepatose and hepatose is example for ketose is zero hepatose. Okay, it's clear. Can we go to the next one? The structure. What is the structure? Is present of the carbohydrate. One is a straight chain carbohydrate. Yes, so open chain projections and Fisher's formula have a projection and both shall form. Can you see that uh, after just you send an open chain. Open chain for glucose and fructose. You can see that in the open chain of that we can easily identify the how many carbon atoms present, how many carbon hydrogen and oxygen are present for glucose and fructose. Here, how many carbon atoms present? We already seen the uh, glucose and fructose are six carbon. Atoms. It means under for exos group. How many carbon are? How many carbon atoms present? One is one. Two, three, and four, five, and six carbon atom is present for that glucose, and it is also one, two, three, four, five, and okay, so uh, and six. So, so six carbon atom is present for the fructose. So this one is glucose under for the what type of uh, this glucose under for the aldose group, and fructose is under for the ketose group. Okay, you can have uh, features formula. It can should be like a kind of closed structure. You can see that you have to mark it all the numbers when it enter for the two end. One is hydrogen group and other end for hydroxyl group is present in here hydrogen and in second group is present for H and O H group. You can see this structure look like that or look uh, look like in the um, closed structures for uh, but it can to compare them to open structure it is very difficult but com uh, compare them to open structure from uh, like one skin you can see that open chain from it easily identify the carbon atom hydrogen o h group but here it can is closed structure but very difficult to compare them to open chain from so next one is uh, chabot form The chair boat form it means it look like the boat and chair structure like it. Can example for that alpha D glucose pyrolysis the CH two OH and other end for hydrogen group is present one and second group is presented for that H and H two glucose. You can see that the center of axis the center of axis is the left side you have to present for the CH two OH group and on end of that hydrogen group and right side you have to present for O and O H group is present. It look like the chair. And the structures look like the chair form. One is hydrogen oxygen group, and another one is hydrogen group. And next one is fourth one is hydrogen and hydroxyl group is presented. 
Okay, so it's clear now. So as I think clear, the first we can see that what is the carbohydrate, and the second slide can show that what is the exam, what is the function of the carbohydrate, and the third you can see what is the classification. What is the classification of that one? Mono, di, oligo, and polysaccharide. Okay, what is the difference between the exam function? Mono, what is the difference between the each type of the monosaccharide? Next one is isomerism. Isomerism is nothing but the same molecular formula but different structural or different structural arrangement of atoms. Again, I tell you what is the isomerism? The same structural formula but different structural configurations, arrangement of arrangement of atoms. Again, I tell you what is means the isomerism? The same compounds having the same molecular. Formula, but different structural configuration atom of uh, configuration of atom. This is called as isomers. Please note that what is isomerism? Isomerism it means the same molecular form but different structural configuration of atom. It is called as isomerism. We can see that what is it? This one is the this structure can see that clearly what is isomerism. You can see OH and D isomerism. D isomerism means the right. D means is the right side isomerism. You can see the L. It means the left side isomerism. You can see that the NH3 and the structural configuration. The right side can present the NH3 group. And what can I do? The next structure can show the NH3 is the left side, but hydrogen group has is present to the um, NH group is present for the left side and it turn into the hydrogen group is in the turn into the right side. You can see that the isomerism. It means right side, the NH group is present to the right side, but the hydrogen group is present to the left side. So you can clearly show that what is being the same structure, but this can show that the same structure, but the structurally different. The such configuration is the different of the atom. The, uh, this structure, first structure can show de-isomerism, it is present for LH group, is present to the right side. And what can do in the N-isomerism, this NH, NH group is presented into the left side. So the isomerism is, uh, next one is uh, more that what is the isomerism and the example. Isomerism can, uh, Types of the street isomerism is geometric isomerism and the optical isomerism. The geometric isomerism it means in what in the double bond, usually the carbon carbon double bond, it does not allow for the free rotation. Again, during the geometric isomerism, it means it's contained with two carbon atom, it's attached to the two carbon atom, but it's not freely available. It really cannot be freely rotation for geometric isomerism. That is the optical isomerism. It will know an atom. Usually the carbon bonded for uh, to the four different atoms or group of atoms. Again, I tell you what is street isomerism. The same structure and bond sequencing, but atoms are oriented differently in the spaces. It is, uh, what are the types of the stereo isomerism? is the geometric and the optical. The geometric isomerism is only the two carbon atom. And it cannot be, example for geometric isomerism is two band of carbon atom. It is, but cannot freely rotate it for the system. Uh, freely cannot rotate it for the structurally. But optical isomerism is usually the carbon banded for four different atoms. There are groups of atoms is present for optical isomerism. What is the next one? Is the structural isomerism the same molecular formula and different structures? The functional example for functional isomerism glucose and fructose, chain isomerism maltose and isomaltose, and the position isomerism group one position and the group six position. Example for functional isomerism glucose and fructose, you can see the maltose and isomaltose. Maltose and isomaltose, what is the difference between maltose and isomaltose? Means the chain isomerism, you can see that maltose is one four alpha linkage and isomaltose is present for one six linkage. Once this maltose is attached to the glucose and uh, lactose, the one and fourth linkage, but the isomerism is present for one six linkage. The position isomerism, the group one and group six position, have to changes for the atom of carbon. 